Hi everyone, David Maley here. Today we're going to talk about Sankey diagrams and customer migration. And we're going to do this with Python and we're going to use Jupyter Notebooks. So if you see right here, this is really cool. Sankeys, what they do is they can give you customer movement or migration over a period of time. In this case, the example I'm showing you is local restaurant data from Charlotte, North Carolina from a local restaurant. And what it is is people that were given a coupon in the past have been given another coupon and they want to see who from the uh, pre to the post period how these people moved so you can see here you've got different buckets right you've got high medium and low and then you also have so you have three buckets on the left side and you have four on the right high medium low and then those that have lapsed so that's people that they did participate they did redeem the coupon they did use it but then they never came back after that. They had a significant uh, post period here to be able to measure this. And so that probably out of this, what they're going to do is they're going to say, OK, these people here came back more than once. So we want to maybe spend our money if we're going to go and market to people, these people, or maybe they want these people down here in the lapse group. Then maybe they want to hit them again with another coupon and try and bring them back in and see if they can make them into a low medium or higher more established customer and that's what you could see here so you could see if you look at these bands uh how the high group here some of them moved most of them moved stayed in high but some of them also went to medium and downgraded and same with medium some of them went up to high some of them stayed most of them stayed in the middle and then a good portion of them also went to the low so we have people that during the middle which we don't see here you know, they obviously went up and then they went down again in the in the end a little bit. Maybe they downsized a little bit after. Maybe so maybe this campaign shifted them. They shifted forward their sales, their uh, uh, spend at the restaurant and they came in for one big visit rather than maybe two visits, smaller visits down the road. I don't know, but that this is what you can see from a Sankey. It's really neat and you can hover over it and get the data behind it and see exactly how many of these customers moved in this route, how many moved in this route, and so on. These are the links here. And these are the nodes on the side here, high, medium, low, and high, medium, low, lapsed. Um, you'll see these are the starting nodes, and these are the target nodes. Okay. Now, what we'll do is I'm going to go up here, and obviously this is Jupyter Notebooks, and this is Python. And so first what we're going to do is we're going to import Plotly. Right? We're going to import this right here graph objects as go geo for graph objects if you do not have plotly then you will obviously use this right here not the number sign in the front but from the exclamation mark this way of pip3 install plotly there's other ways you can do it through the uh, uh, dos and through other ways the command prompt but you don't need to do that this is the easiest way to do it right here then once you've installed that you need to have the data in this case, I'm going to show you how to do it with data in a matrix. What that means is you have to have the data in this kind of format to begin with. So we have pre, high, medium, low, right? This is the pre period. This is the during period, or actually this would be the post period, actually, in this case. Um, high, medium, low, and lapsed. And uh, so what we have here is you have... 548, 1513, and 1684. These guys right here are where the high would have stayed, right? But there is no lapsed on this side because you can't have a lapsed at the beginning of it. It has to lapse through. The, that's what the purpose of the lapsed is. If this was another group like um, unclassifieds and they were or and they were in both, then you would have another row here of data. We don't have that here. So what you have here is how this works is you have high this is the peep number of people that stayed in high these are the people that moved from high to medium these are the people that move from high to low and high to lapsed then you have the people that move from medium to high to stayed medium moved to low moved to lapsed and so on with low moved to high you do have some of those small number but you still do low that moved to medium low that moved to low and low to lapsed now, once you have your data in this format, it makes it very simple to put into a Sankey. So next we're going to do is the data. And obviously you have to have your labels, like we were talking about here, high, medium, low. Now see I have high, medium, low. Then I have high, medium, low, lapsed, just like here, high, medium, low, then high, medium, low, lapsed. 
If I did not have this lapsed, I would just have high, medium, low, high, medium, low. If I had another group, I could have high, medium, low, unclassified, then high, medium, low, unclassified. That's how that would work. Next, you have your source, right? So remember I was talking about source and target nodes. So you have your source nodes. So in this case, you have three source nodes, high, medium, and low. So that means we're going to have 0, 0, 0, 0. So you're going to have 0, 1, and 2. See that? In groups of what? Four. Because we have three of these and we have four groups, right? For the target. So you have to have that in there just like that. Three groups with four uh, of each. So you've got 0, 1, and 2 just like that. Then you're going to have the target. So the target is going to be this side over here, right? And you have what? four target nodes. So you have, instead of 0, 1, 2, you have 3, 4, 5, 6. And they're going to, these can go to 0 to 3, 0 to 4, 0 to 5, 0 to 6. 1 to 3, 1 to 4, 1 to 5, 1 to 6. That's how it works. 2 to 3, 2 to 4, 2 to 5, 2 to 6. And each one of those has four, right? So that's how your source and your target works in this case. Then you put your values in. So that's your values just going across this way from left to right. If you have a matrix, it makes it very simple. So 548571129276. See it there? Then it goes to 303, 1513, and so on all the way through them. That's in the bracket there. So you got your source, your target, and your value. If you don't put values in, you just won't have a value down below, and it'll have the same size links everywhere, which would be kind of useless. See, it's important to have all three of those. Then what we're going to do is we have the link. Now, the DICT is the dictionary function. And so what we're doing is we're creating a dictionary, which is just a uh, non-ordered uh, group of data. Um, in this case, it's source equals source right here. Target equals target and value equals value, comma, color equals color link. So that's you're going to see that in a minute here down below. I'll show you the color links for that. And that's just how you, if you don't do the color links, you don't have to. You could leave this part out right here and you just have grayed out links. I like to have a little color to them and I'll show you what they are down below. So you got link equals that, node equals the dictionary of label equals label, pad equals 35. So that's going to show you the different, the spacing between these guys. Okay, if you put them too close, it's very hard sometimes to tell them apart. In this case, I like 35. It gives the right amount of difference between these, or space. That's the right way to say it. Um, so you got pad equals 35 and thickness equals 10. Thickness would be how thick the nodes are. Okay, so that's the node, and then the data equals go, which is, you know, right here, plotly graph objects. We're pulling the Sankey function link equals link and node equals node so that's where we're going to pass in these guys right here that we just created then what i talked about with the colors is this part right here color underscore link which is this equals and then i've got these just like this now these are the hex uh, codes for the colors so the first one is peach this one is sand, this one is sea green, and this one's light purple. If you want to match mine, you don't have to. You can use whatever colors you want. There's many websites you can go to and type in need the hex colors, and you can get that from them. Now, keep in mind what I did already. Remember, we have it so you have uh, four, four, and four, and you've got each one of these has four. So if you look at this, we have to repeat four different target nodes, right? One, two, three, four. So we got four target nodes and we got three start nodes. So basically it's the same thing as this right here. If you look at the structure of the matrix, you'll see I have four across and three down. That's the way it's built. So I have four across and three down. That's exactly how you want to have the colors. If you change this and just have two down and four across, it will show up with some being blacked out, uh, which would be kind of ugly. So in this case, you've got that. If I had had another qualifier on the pre period and i had like unclassified or something like that then i would have another row of four down here so then i'd have 16 instead of 12 colors and you see how they repeat themselves so the same four are repeated in each row okay i could go with different ones but then it'd be kind of ugly because you have different colors going all over the place and you actually want to have them neatly so that the the uh, target nodes on the right derive the colors of that and you'll see it in a second 
So next, once you have the color and you have the data, then we're going to graph the Sankey. So you've got FIG for figure equals go from the objects above dot figure of the data, right? And fig dot update the layout, update underscore layout, hover mode equals X. So you want to be able to, that's important here. If you don't do that, you won't be able to do what I did earlier. I showed you earlier how you can hover over. So see this, you wouldn't have this ability to, to bring up this data box here of the different um, links on the hover if you didn't have this part in there. So then you've got the title, right? Title, so you got comma, title equals, in this case, customer migration from campaign pre to post. And then you have the font size for that right here for this is 10 color is white you could pick a different color if you want to that's fine and then paper equals or paper underscore background color bg color is this that's a kind of like a low or a gray black a light shade of black i guess that's what i said here because complete black is very annoying to look at on this so i didn't want to have that full on black as it says right here is number zero 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 it's too drastic to show and then you just do fig dot show and then when you do that it's going to give you this um which is really neat here and you can easily someone you know executive can look at this and say oh i have you know my lows we work on these people and uh fortunately we got some that dropped out and that but that's going to happen and if you look at the ones that dropped out so see how these colors are the same on the right all of them go into that same node of this, the same color. So they're all yellow for medium. They're all gr sea green for low, light purple for lapsed, and uh, peach, I guess, or whatever for high. So you can follow them all in. It makes it really easy and nice to follow them in. And you can see here that some of your lows actually go to become highs. And then you've also got some highs that go down to mediums. Very few highs go to lapsed. That's the smallest group of lapsed. See how the, the mediums has a bigger and the lows have a much bigger group. So the lapsed is mostly comprised of low customers in this case for these people. And again, those are the people that dropped out and haven't bought uh, since they first redeemed. Okay. And then you can also look at the lows. You've got some highs that drop down to become lows. Very small number. Mostly it's mediums that drop down or lows that stay the same. Mediums here, you know, you've got highs that drop down to uh, medium. You do have a significant number of those. Um, actually, a little bit more than you do of the ones that stay there. But you also have people coming in from medium right there, 303. And you also have them coming in from low which is 189. So all together, you can click on the right part and see how many 1.04 thousand here that are in high. And over here, 1.32 thousand. So you do lose a little bit. You lose like 200 and something, uh, maybe three, almost 280 or so customers there that um, were high and dropped down to medium, low or laps very small number going to laps from the highs you can see it right there 76. so that's how you do a really neat sankey and i'll show you here with the whole thing in uh python with jupiter and we use plotly to create this now keep in mind you have to have a matrix like this and uh, your data is set up so that you know you know who moved from high to low to medium and all that once you have that set up, it makes it so simple to go through the rest and just, you know, figure out how many source nodes do I have? How many target nodes do I have? So again, here's the source nodes on the left. Here's the target nodes on the right. And so three here, four here, that's what you want to have in this case. Okay, you're not always going to have that. But once you have that, then you just go through this step by step. Pick the colors you want. Again, the, I use peach sand, sea green, and light purple. Okay, and then you redo those throughout it. If you don't, you'll see that you'll have different colors all over the place and they'll be ugly to look at. And uh, then I showed you exactly how to graph the Sankey. So this is a great way to show customer migration or movement of a campaign. Of, it could be anything. There's a lot of different things you can use Sankeys for. Um, 
very useful stuff, very, uh, very good graphic that a lot or graph that a lot of execs like to look at to see where, you know, what is the lasting effect of a campaign of monies they're throwing into advertising marketing. And they can actually see here what's going on based off that. Hope you found this interesting and informational. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. And stay tuned for other great videos I have like this coming out. And we're going to have another one soon where I'm going to show you how to take a Sankey like this, add more periods to it, and then push it out to an interactive HTML um, file so that you can go and give it to other people to uh, easily uh, look at and decipher and get their insights from and so forth. Thanks again and have a great day.